so shot this morning, but I'm still gonna get up, still gonna go to the gym despite all the rain. Be a great morning just to lay in bed, but you know what, I did sleep in a little bit. So uh, it's time to go be productive. Side note, it's actually like super dry in here and it's been pouring rain like all night. The only thing I'm having issues with is water in here. But once I take the windows off, when it gets nice out, it all just drains out. And I don't know how it gets in there. I think it comes in through like the weather stripping or something and just drips down here and just, it puddles up here. It's weird. But uh, otherwise, sweet. I never ray next to my windshield since I got this one replaced. And that's proving to be kind of an issue right now. Cause like it's raining, but it's kind of hard to see. The camera really doesn't do it justice. <laughs> There's something about just sitting in a Jeep with a soft top while it's like gently raining or hardly raining or raining hard. I think that's what I meant. And it's just like so relaxing. Cause it feels like you're in like a little tent. Cause you got the fabric roof and you can hear like the pitter patter. And it's just like, so there's something about it just makes you feel so good. So I think I might just sit here before I go work out. Because <laughs> I really don't want to go out there. So I had all this empty space along this wall and I decided to go to Home Depot and just buy some wood because I wanted to build something. And sometimes you just gotta do stuff to be busy. And now I have plenty of room along this wall for me to store more Jeep parts. <laughs> Speaking of which, I really need to get this on. Maybe I'll tackle that uh, next week. I think it came out pretty nice. So today's order of business, I still have all sorts of sawdust on there. So today's order of business is pulling the sliders off of the Jeep because I want to get a better angle at uh, either pulling this dent out, I don't know, you can't really see it, there's a gap back here, and or, uh, so I either want to get a better angle at pulling it out or maybe I can go from the inside and push it out. But either way, I want to replace all the hardware because the outsides look good but the insides are actually starting to rust. and. Some of these down here are starting to rust, so this is the issue with not having a lift and being really tall, so, oh, here goes nothing. So all the bolts are out except for this one guy which is rusting, which is like the main reason that I wanted to replace all this, and I shot some PB Blaster on it, so now we're going to try the big boy. We're going to put some vinegar on it, um, and vinegar usually does a good job at dissolving rust. So we're going to let that sit and see what the heck happens. So here's the passenger side one. The driver's side still stuck by that one bolt. Kind of see it right in there. Bam. This is off. You can see how much water was getting behind there. We did try and silicone it the best we can. And I didn't want water getting inside these holes. Luckily, I actually taped this one up. This isn't the factory tape. But uh, all the water was getting inside the tub. I can see how much water was sitting down here. So, ooh, got some rust starting. See, so, yeah, I just wanted to catch all this, so, sweet. And there they are, the LOD sliders, finally off. 
this side actually came off much cleaner as far as the silicone. And then right here, I had a, a new piece of metal welded in because it was starting to rust out. So you can see it's starting to get some rust right there. Peel some of that silicone off. And I actually have some of the leftover paint from the doors that I can throw on here just to make it look pretty, just so I know. And this thing is actually covered up, so that's good. Sweet. Actually, it looks pretty good under this side. A little bit of rust under here, again, but that's all fixable. I'm gonna paint under the body. Let's see if it, yeah, I'm gonna repaint all that. So, cool, that's a, a big struggle, big hurdle. That one bolt. So now that everything is clean, I'm all clean around here. I gotta scrape all this silicone off so I can redo it when the sliders go back on. So that is not going to be a fun task, but I'm just gonna sit here and get it done. All right, so this side actually doesn't look too bad. This side is gonna need some attention. So, it's time like the present. Getting a little bit of a late start. I am going to pick up some Jeep parts. So I got a decent amount of driving to do. And I'm actually interested to see how the Jeep does because it's like really hot out. And the last time I tried to go for a long drive to Pennsylvania actually, um, it didn't end up working out too well for me. So this will be a good test to see how everything is doing. Test out the speed sensor that I uh, kind of fixed, I guess you could say. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and get my GPS to load here and then we're gonna do some driving. So right now my speedometer is doing the thing that it does before the speed sensor goes bad. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's like shooting around. Yeah, that's really scary. <laughs> All right, so I managed to pull over in this gas station and the telltale sign of the speed sensor going bad is that all the power like blips out. And that is exactly what just happened. And thankfully I was able to like come down a hill and pull into here. So I'm actually gonna go underneath, unplug the speed sensor. That was interesting. So I'm actually gonna go underneath, unplug the speed sensor, and then hopefully we can continue this journey um, problem free. And I'll have ways to use as my uh, speedometer. There's a little thing here, so we're gonna do. All right, so pickup is complete. The deal is done. I got my bad boys sitting in the back and I'm super, super excited about them. And I can't wait to show you guys um, so I'm gonna drive home without a speedometer because I unplugged it. I'm gonna use that and I will show you guys later what I have done. Check out that Odyssey. All right, so I'm really excited about these and these are what I got. These are the Poison Spider aluminum Highline Defenders and they actually don't make the aluminum ones anymore so these are sick i got a sweet deal on them and those should allow me to do a lot of cool things with the jeep especially when i go uh, to do the suspension stuff and i'm undecided if i'm going to keep them the silver color that they are or if i should get them uh, powder coated to match the body color on the jeep um, i'm undecided about that so uh, they're going to sit around for a little bit for now while I do some other stuff to uh, to accommodate them, I guess you could say. So, yeah, I'm super excited about them, and hopefully I get to use them. If not, they'll be passed on to somebody else who can use them. All right, so now it is, what day is it? I think it's Thursday. It's definitely Thursday. Got my, got my pizza going and toaster. I'm home for lunch, and I got some oh, cool things. I'm getting ran over by my belly. Boom, I bought a new pop-up. And this thing is mint, has an awning. My old one was rotten all up in here. 
a little bit janky on the inside, but sealing it solid all the way across. It's pretty clean, and I can't wait to get to this thing. I want to redo all the stuff, with new floor and all that fun stuff. But finally have some beautiful weather, so I'm going to take the top off of the Jeep, and you're gonna watch. So I think my favorite part about this top is that not only can you take the windows out, but you can keep the windows in a bag up here. These have separators, the windows on a stick, and I just hold the back window up and then when you velcro the top down, it stays in there. Just hop down, pull that, put that into there. Yeah, you can't do that with one hand. And give it a tug. Boom. That's done. chicken on there to make it a little bit healthier. I got my greens. Boom. All right, so I'm gonna head back to work now. I'm gonna enjoy the delicious pizza pizza. Pizza pizza. Um, and I think I'm going to a car show tonight, and if that's the case, I will catch up with you later. If not, then next time something cool happens or I do something, I will fill you in.